All right, I am test driving a 2018 Toyota Highlander, uh, and I'm just gonna get started. I'm in a uh, park right now. I'm just gonna put it in drive, and I'm gonna just start cruising around. I am in Chirac, Chicago. All right, I'm in Chicago, Chirac, driving around in a 2018 Toyota Highlander. Right, so I'm gonna go through a couple of hoods. All right, I'm gonna go through a couple of hoods and see what's going on something's going on right here somebody's getting their horn horn honked at so i'm just going to go through some of the hoods we're going to drive around the main streets of chirac i'm going to get out here as soon as the traffic eases up a little bit i'm just going to start cruising down the streets get around here wait for all this to go around Let's see a truck and after this semi truck goes by, I'm going to be cruising around the, around, around the main streets of Chirac. All right, and we're off. So we're cruising down the streets, test driving this. This vehicle's very spacious, a very spacious vehicle, uh, the Highlander is. It has three rows of seats. The two rows in the, in the back can be folded down. So you can have more cargo space, fit some things in here, some heavy duty stuff in here if you'd like to. So I'm just gonna keep on cruising down the streets, testing the road right here. It's a lot of potholes somewhat, and the vehicle seems to be absorbing all of the shock that goes around with this. Now I'm gonna turn on the, hot, the, the lights on this vehicle. I'm gonna turn it in the auto section so the vehicle knows by itself to turn on the lights all right and i'm just going to be cruising down the street it says what is this crew parking right here seems like i'm in some sort of industrial area industrial area closed down because of the pandemic a lot of cars right there i think that's the impound right there you get you get your car impounded uh when you don't pay your bills for your vehicle so I'm gonna go under here under this viaduct. Viaduct depends on where you're, where you're from. What do you call it? The viaduct. And I'm gonna go under here. There's in the, the vehicle has a somewhat nice type of pickup. It's not anything to brag home about, but it can pick up and get up to speed eventually. It's it doesn't this this particular vehicle doesn't have a great uh, uh, amount of pickup. So I'm just gonna cruise down here. A lot of things going on. The pandemic is happening right now. And so they, there's very few people out, but there are some people out going grocery shopping with their mask on and whatnot. Coming around here, doctor's office. Gonna cruise on down here. Looks like some sort of man is like leaning against the wall. I hope he's okay over there. Just gonna go around here and cruise around the streets nice afternoon the sun is just beginning to go down people are starting to get out the weather's starting to get warm out I'm gonna go ahead and make a left right here I'm gonna cruise down the streets I'm gonna go by Chinatown neighborhood the Chinatown neighborhood right now to see what's going on in Chinatown. Look right there, some people on the side of the road selling fruits. Nice little area right over there. Looks like some um, looks like some construction going on on some of these buildings. Now I just went over some construction right there, and this vehicle, this big vehicle went over it and it's almost like I didn't go over anything I really didn't feel any shock whatsoever when I went over that construction do thing whatever it was now one thing I want to test out with this vehicle is the braking because this is a such a large vehicle larger vehicles have a hard time braking and I want to test this vehicle and see see what it's working with see what how responsive it is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep on driving, and then I'm gonna be a little bit aggressive 
with the brakes at this next stoplight. So I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna be a little bit aggressive with the next, um, it's actually a stop sign, not a stoplight. So I'm gonna be aggressive, so I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna be aggressive with the braking to see how well it stops. Ah, oh, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive with the brakes. Pretty impressive with the braking on, on this particular vehicle. Gonna keep on go up here. Pretty impressive. It stops. It's not too jerky. It's rather smooth. So I'm guessing that they're uh, the disc brakes are rather large on this in order for it to stop so well. I'm gonna be cruising past this. Carnitas. So they have a lot of Latin American food over here. Carnitas and the brakes really 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 nice so this is the pilsen neighborhood if you ever came to chicago and heard of the pilsen neighborhood that is this particular neighborhood right here this is the pilsen neighborhood known for a lot of things as history uh, you might want to check it out look it up maybe i'll leave some information about the pilsen neighborhood in the description part of the page dentista Carnitas, family restaurant right here. A lot of different types of family restaurants in here. Nice neighborhood. Just gonna keep on cruising through here. Not a lot of potholes. This vehicle stops pretty well. Let's see how well it can maneuver. Well, it doesn't maneuver too well. The, the steering wheel is quite loose. It's not sharp, and I guess when you have a vehicle of this size, you wouldn't want it to be stopping, uh, or not stopping, but turning too sharply. So I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna go past this street right here. I'm just gonna keep on cruising. Cruising past the streets. We're coming up on the a stoplight right here. I'm gonna roll down the window so I get some fresh air in here. A lot of grocery stores going on right here. People on the corner celebrating a sunny day. Cruising down a street called Cermac, Cermac Avenue or Cermac Road. Heading closer towards the city center. We're gonna go through Chinatown. I'm gonna take you to Chinatown so you can see what's going on in Chinatown. Coming up on Blue Island right here, about to cross the street right here. Someone with American flag on their back, pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna get up here and I'm gonna go across this road right here. freight truck crossing. We're still in somewhat of an industrial area. I'm just gonna go ahead and cruise past this right here. Industrial area. The roads are somewhat rough, but this vehicle can handle the roads pretty well. So we're gonna come up here. Looks like some sort of industrial building to the right. I don't know exactly what that is. It looks like something important. Now with this whole pandemic thing going on, a lot of things have been shut down such as, uh, such as movie theaters, such as restaurants, you name it across the board, things have been shut down because of the uh, current pandemic situation that we're in. But I believe pretty soon a lot of these places are going to start or opening up due to uh, the officials saying that, uh, um, you know, we, we have to get back to work and uh, we're going to take precautions and we're going to keep business running. So a lot of these things are opening back up. And so business is going to start picking up and pretty soon the roads won't be as clear as they are like like they are right here because people are going to be going back to work and, you know, 
driving around. So it's going to be something to look forward to. Like when you get back, I won't be able to drive through the city as freely as I'm doing right now. But hey, beggars can't be beggars. So I'm just going to keep on cruising down this road. I'm heading to Chinatown. Well, Chinatown is, is very historic here in Chicago. It's been around for many years. Predominantly Chinese uh, residents live in that, that area. A lot of Chinese restaurants, a lot of Chinese shops, a lot of Chinese everything there. And so we're going to take a drive through there to see Chinatown in this Toyota Highlander. Get a little bit closer, go through this intersection right here. So I'm gonna step on the gas and see how well it accelerates from go. All right. It 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 picks up, but it does take some time for it to pick up. Alright, so that's one thing to note. If you get this vehicle, it does take time for it to pick up. So we're coming up onto Chinatown. Coming up onto Chinatown, I'm starting to see a lot of uh, things with Chinese letters written on them. It's pretty cool. Gonna grow across this bridge and then see what else I can discover here in Chinatown. Going under the viaduct, viaduct, and then across the bridge. right here go across the bridge right here a lot of old warehouses and we're about to enter into Chinatown relatively soon we're going to enter into Chinatown I'm just going to go ahead and make a left right here And I believe this is, we are nearing Chinatown. Or maybe I'm going away from Chinatown. There was a detour that detoured me around the way that I was supposed to go, but let's see where this takes me. I'm not too familiar with this road right here, but let's see what, what comes of it. Pretty exciting. There's some more Chinese letters up there. It's gonna cruise through. If you can look up there, there is the Sears Tower up there. I'm gonna make a right on this road right here. I think I passed, may have passed Chinatown, but I'm gonna make a right onto this road right here and see if I can make my way back over to that area that I was initially trying to get to. And I'm coming up over here. I'm gonna cross over this road. get over on this road right here and let's see what's going on all right yes I'm getting closer to Chinatown as I, after I cross over this bridge I'm taking the Toyota Highlander and going to be able to get to Chinatown crossing this bridge right here let's see where it takes me right here Just slow down to avoid a pothole Uh, look at the brakes. The brakes, very responsive. Very happy with the braking on this vehicle right here. Just going to work our way into the... Work our way to the uh, Chinatown. I can smell some of the Chinese food right now. It's gonna work my way a little bit more. Stop light going on right here. And let's uh, get up here. Vehicle wants to turn left. I'm not sure if he sees my vehicle or not, but oh, he saw me. And I'm crossing the street. Smell the Chinese food. I'm getting close. I'm just gonna go straight right here. St 
drink through Chinatown. This is State Street, so I'm going to make a right right here. All right, Chinatown is right up the street. I come up here. Passing Archer. Nice little neighborhood that you got going on right here. Potholes right there. Wait for the pedestrian to cross the street. He has the right of way. Right here is Surmac. And I think I'm going to make a right right here. Perfecto. And Chinatown is just above right up here. So I'm gonna, after this light right here and after I go under the train tracks, should be Chinatown. So you can take a good look at it. I'm gonna get down here. Someone in the street, I'm not sure where you, uh, it's ask, guy asked for money, I wish I had some dollars to give. And I'm just gonna go straight under this viaduct, viaduct. Waiting for the light to change. All right, and we are in Chinatown. Historic Chicago Chinatown. Beautiful area. Get in the right lane. And I'm gonna get over here and we're gonna drive through Chinatown. The sunlight is hitting Chinatown right on the side. I'm gonna go over here, driving through Chinatown. It's pretty much shut down because of the pandemic, but you can see some of the shops, some of the stores still taking deliveries. A lot of restaurants here, Chinatown. Here are a lot of shops and everything, whatnot. Pretty cool. Gonna get right here, and I'm gonna take. This is what is considered old Chinatown, but there's also a new Chinatown, and I'm gonna go by the new Chinatown so we can see that. So I'm just gonna cruise to the back block right here, and then I'm gonna take a U turn and go back, and we're gonna go through new Chinatown. So I'm gonna get right here, and I'm just gonna cruise around, just do a turn. And go through, new back through New Chinatown. Vietnamese restaurant there as well. Look at the awning right there, Chinatown, and you can see the actual city of Chicago in the background. Pretty nice. And, all right, so I went through old Chinatown. I'm going to go through new Chinatown. Actually, I'm not going to go through new Chinatown because I can't drive through that but I'm gonna head back to the city. As you can see the city and the skyline right there, pretty nice. I'm gonna drive back through there, show you that. And so we're gonna leave Chinatown and I'm gonna head back into the city. I'm gonna go ahead and make a right right here. So 
So I'm leaving Chinatown and I'm headed back into the city center of Chicago, Illinois. Pretty cool. It's gonna go right here. Wait for the lights. The lights here are notoriously known for taking forever, but I'm not gonna let that get to me. So I hope you're enjoying this driving tour, driving tour slash test drive of the Toyota Highlander. See how comfortable it is, a lot of space in here. Not so much space with the leg room, which is very surprising with a vehicle being this big, but there is a, a, an enormous amount of headroom with this vehicle. I'm just gonna cruise up under here. gonna make a left down State Street. Now, State Street's one of the main streets here in Chicago. One of the main streets that goes straight through the city center. I'm just gonna cruise. Let's see if I can try to make every single green light. Every single green light is lit up right now. I wanna see how many of these I can make without it turning red. That's one coming up that's two that's two green lights that I made coming up on the third green light let's see that's three green lights just made three green lights let's see if I can make a fourth green light not with slowpoke in front of me I, I could not make it but oh well it's good enough. So I'm coming up onto the city center, Chicago, Illinois, coming through the neighborhood called, I believe this is Brownsville or South Loop. Brownsville slash South Loop. Cruising through this. It's a nice evening during the middle of the week. streets are kind of vacant because of the COVID crisis that we're currently going through, but all is well. I'm just going to cruise on through the streets. Beautiful day. I'm coming up onto the city center about to cross Roosevelt pretty soon. All right, and we're on a path to make every one of these green lights. Just gonna keep on going. Cruising the street. So this is a really smooth driving vehicle that I have right here. And you, you don't even notice how smooth it is until you get into another vehicle that doesn't really handle the road as well. But yeah, it's going well. I'm gonna cruise past here and then see some more of the city center. It's a red light right here. This street that we're coming across right here is Roosevelt. Roosevelt, Roosevelt, I think it's Roosevelt. And we're just gonna cross over here. Now I'm gonna check out the shifter mode. I, sh I put it into shifter mode just now. And I'm gonna see how well it shifts. It starts off in one, I believe. Uh, let me put it, I'm gonna put it down in one and see how well it shifts. I'm just gonna shift through the streets, wait for this green light to, to go right here and see how well it takes off in shifter mode. I'm gonna start it off in one and then I'm just gonna cruise through here. All right, that's one, two, three, and it, it shifts pretty well. It gets up to speed a little bit faster in shifter mode. It's pretty cool. Just gonna keep on shifting through here, get back down to one. And that's just me just cruising through the streets, 
Uh, I'm just gonna continue cruising through the streets. Uh, let me know if you have this vehicle and what your experience is with this vehicle. Uh, this is the Toyota Highlander 2018 edition. Tell me what your experience is with this vehicle, how if you like it, would you recommend it to anyone else? Thanks a lot for watching.